Now hey guys, welcome back to the channel and another Switch 001 video. Now today we are back in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 and, and we are flying at quite a, well, tropical region as you can tell just by the color of this water. Or inside of a Diamond DA40 I think, a plane that I have never flown before so this is interesting. And we are approaching a very interesting island airport. The runway is ahead. Alright, coming in. And now the landing, let's check this out. Oh, right, that was a little bit of a bounce, but there we go. We have actually touched down and, um, stop. Oh, this is actually, this got very much close to the end of the runway here. Yes, this runway is only 450 meters long, and I still haven't answered the question where we actually are. Well, we're actually in Australia, and to be quite specific, this is the island of Maboyag Island. And of course, this airport is also called Maboyag Airport. Kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, this is a very small, well, tropical island just north of the Australian continent. It is not very well known, but what is known about this airport is that it has the shortest runway in Australia, or at least the shortest asphalt runway. It's also the shortest runway that actually has commercial service here in Australia. Yes, there's the airline called Skytrans Airlines, which is uh, based in Queensland, Australia. And that airline connects this small island to some other islands like Badu Island, Horn Island, and Sabai Island. And I'm just reading through the Wikipedia article at this point. So yes, this actually does have commercial planes flying here. Now, you may wonder what kind of planes do they actually use? You know, they won't use something like an A320, right? I mean, we're gonna use that one here later, but not now. <laughs> Air Trans likes to use planes like the Cessna 208 Grand Caravan, which is actually commonly used as an island hopper, which is what we're basically doing. You know, this is island hopping. All right, there we go. We'll come aboard the Cessna Caravan. This is actually, again, quite a nice plane. It is a turboprop, which is good. And it does need that little bit of power because it does, you know, it does carry quite a few passengers, doesn't it? Uh, I mean, this is after all an airliner. It's not that big of an airliner and it can also be used as a general aviation aircraft, but it is an airliner and it is quite a bit more complex than a Cessna 172, obviously. There's quite a few more buttons like no smoke and seatbelt sign. At this point, it does look a little bit more complicated because of the circuit breakers, for example. But after all, this plane is quite simplistic as well. Let's go ahead and get this plane landed, which is uh, the main thing that we have to do. Let's see how well we can land this plane here down on on the runway. All right, a little bit of a quick landing, but let's go ahead and get this plane stopped, which is, oh, oh damn, this was a large failure there. Oh no. Yeah, today I'm not that good with landings, am I? Yeah, uh, let's just ignore this very, very bad landing and let's just move on to a bigger plane, maybe a twin turboprop. And of course I'm talking Beechcraft King Air 350. Let's go ahead and get this plane landed down here. I don't think that you would actually be able to fly this plane here legally. Yeah, I don't think it would be particularly illegal to land your plane here, but you would definitely get in trouble. I mean, would destroy your plane possibly. Yeah, I think this plane, it leads a a little bit of a longer runway than 450 meters. But let's just see. I mean, <laughs> we're about to find out, right? Alright, there we go. And now the landing. Alright, not that much of a comfortable landing either, but this had to be done, obviously, so that we can stop in time. Which we did, which is kind of the point. I mean, when we've got another Star Wars spaceship on the ramp, you know, just Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 things, am I right? No, but this also worked quite well. We were a little bit left of the center line, but whatever. Let's go ahead and try out a bigger plane. <laughs> Alright, so let's try a jet then. Let's try a private jet. How about something like the Cessna Citation Longitude? Let's skip the CJ4. Let's already go for the big private jet. Yeah, we don't want to waste time, right? All right, let's go ahead. This will be a little bit of a tougher landing. Let me just say that. <clears throat> All right, a little bit of a crash, but we need the stopping distance. All right, <clears throat> we've uh, we stopped. Perfectly fine. All right, obviously this was more of a crash landing. Let's try this properly again. <clears throat> A little bit next to the runway as well, but maybe we can get this plane stopped. All right. Actually, this is not too bad. You could actually perform a proper landing here, which is uh, kind of safe here in this Cessna Citation Longitude. Probably very illegal as well, but it could work. Let's try a bigger plane then. Uh, and of course, I'm talking A320. All right, let's go ahead. Let's try performing a takeoff first and then an actual landing. All right, for that, let's actually use the whole runway by, you know, using the reverse thrust power of this plane. There we go. All right, pretty nice. 
There we go. Nice. Let's go ahead and get this plane taken off now. All right, the engines are at toga. Let's go ahead and get the flaps out as well, and now disengage the brakes, which will give us the maximum amount of takeoff power to get out of here. Maybe this will actually work, or maybe, maybe not. Oh, goodness. All right, 100 knots. We did have a tail strike there, but we have taken off. That worked uh, quite well, didn't it? All right, let's now try the landing. Okay, everything's ready. Let's go ahead. Oh. <clears throat> All right, that was a severe overrun, and we have actually now gone for a swim as well. This didn't work out at all. Yeah, 450 meter long runway. This is a little close for an A320. You're gonna at least want to have like a one kilometer runway. This would be 1.3 kilometers, which is definitely not given like at all. <laughs> so this didn't work out. All right, there we go. Welcome aboard the TBM 930. This is actually not a small turboprop plane, and I think this would be the biggest this one to be certified to operate here properly. This plane does not have that much difficulty operating here, I hope, I guess. Let's just go ahead and try doing a takeoff. I mean, that also worked in something like the A320, so this shouldn't be that much of an issue, right? So let's go ahead and try our best here. 50 knots, 60 knots, and 70 knots we can take off. There we go. This worked out without any issues. No worries at all. Now let's try, of course, performing the landing part as well, which shouldn't be that much of an issue either. I mean, after all, this is still a dangerous challenging airport, but we're definitely in a plane that can handle it. Let's see if uh, I, as a pilot, can also handle this airport. Let's put the landing gear down, by the way. All right, we're coming in nicely, but very quickly, actually. But let's just see what we can do. All right, trying to use most of the runway possible. I think I did touch down a little bit before the runway actually started, but there we go. This was a nice quick stop. You know, this is typical trouble prop. These planes, they stop in no time. So, uh, yeah, guys, thank you for watching today's video, and I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night.